What's up folks, Spencer here with React Native School. In this class, we're going to be learning how to add offline capability to your React Native applications. And we're going to do this in four different steps or four different levels that I've kind of identified as what an offline capable app does. First off, what you get out of the box. There's nothing going on to actually tell the user or give the user an offline experience. After that, we're just going to set up some basic notification of just saying, hey, you know, unfortunately you're offline, we can't do anything about that right now. And then we'll start going into the more complex things of saving and caching data that a user successfully downloads when they are online so that we can use that information to generate a response or a uh, experience for them while they are online or offline. And then finally we'll start to get into the really complex stuff of actually allowing a user to take actions while offline and then going ahead, saving those, pre providing an optimistic response or kind of an offline experience so they have some sort of actual response when they create or do that action. And then finally, we'll go ahead and cover how to go ahead and reconcile those actions that a user took while offline once they're back online. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to join React Native School as a pro member, and then I'll see you in the course.